What's up guys, this is Tommy. Welcome to my channel. If you are new and if you have seen my videos before, then welcome back. It is 62 degrees in Miami today, if you can believe that. And I am feeling very wintry. I've got my Sherpa jacket on today. As you know, I am very dramatic for no reason and I feel like 62 degrees is very cold. So I have this jacket, it's my favorite jacket ever. I will leave a link to that in the description below if you want to check it out. So today's agenda. Gay tribes are used to classify people in the gay community. Some tribes are defined by body type and some tribes are defined by kinks. They're big for apps like Grindr so you can get an idea of what a potential partner is going to look like or how they might potentially act before you meet them in person. Tribes, to me, if I'm being honest, are a little overhyped and unofficial. Just my opinion. They're pretty fluid. I believe that a person can choose to identify with whatever tribe that they want to. I also believe that you don't have to identify with one single tribe. I also want to mention that you don't have to fall into any of the stereotypes that I will be mentioning in this video today because that's what they are. They're stereotypes. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes, but if you are a member of the gay community and you want to know a little bit more about gay tribes, and also if you're using an app like Grindr that asks you to identify with a certain tribe, then the more information you know, the better, I guess. I'll be talking about popular gay tribes today and what makes each tribe unique. To help you get a better understanding of gay tribes, I am going to be using the Wizard of Oz characters as references for each gay tribe. Am I making the stereotype problem worse? Maybe. Please do not take this video as Bible. It is not textbook. Please do not attack me. <laughs> Literally every single character in The Wizard of Oz is iconic. Literally every single one. Even the angry apple trees are icons. What do you think you're doing? Lucky for you guys, I will not be using them as a character. And just a disclaimer before we start the gay tribe explanation part of this video, I want to say that I can't possibly know all the ins and outs of every single tribe. I don't identify with every single tribe. This is only for entertainment purposes and if I get anything wrong, then please leave a comment below and teach me because I am making this channel because I also want to learn from you guys. If you're lucky, then I will tell you which tribe I identify with at the end of this video. Okay, here we go. The first tribe that I'm going to talk about is the bear tribe. Bears are usually of a large frame and they generally have facial and a lot of body hair. There's many different types of bears in the gay community. They're cubs, which are usually shorter, younger, sometimes more passive bears from what I understand. There's also muscle bears. There are polar bears, which are, you know, silver fox type bears. All right, so the Wizard of Oz character that I would associate with a bear has to be the lion, right? Put him up, put him up. This is solely based on the looks, based on the hair. It has nothing to do with not having courage. I know bears definitely have courage but more so to do with hair and being kind and lovable. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. All right, next up we have the tribe leather. These are people who are into leather as a kink. Think tight leather clothing, leather jackets, leather vests, leather boots, leather assless chaps, a big one, leather harnesses, and sometimes even leather whips, chains, and restraints, for those of you that are into that. Anything and everything, really. All right, so the Wizard of Oz character that I would associate with the leather tribe 
is the Tin Man. Oh my arms, please. Oh my elbows. <sighs> the Tin Man is dedicated to his tin life, just like a leather is dedicated to their leather life. Hear me out. Leather is hard to move around in, and so is tin. I would imagine that somebody wearing leather pants has about the same leg flexibility as the Tin Man. Just my opinion. Maybe I should buy a pair of leather pants and try them on for you guys. Also, this has absolutely nothing to do with leather gays not having a heart. I know for a fact that leather gays have hearts. I can't confirm. All right, on to our next tribe, discreet. Discreet gays generally have a floating torso picture on Grindr, or even just a blank profile. And I understand that is a very broad generalization coming from me, but that's just what I've seen. They want their relationships or their affairs to be kept secret, and they don't like to share a lot of personal information. They could possibly be in a relationship or a marriage with somebody else, but obviously that's not always the case. The Wizard of Oz character that I would associate with discreet men is the Wicked Witch of the East. Huh? And that's all that's left of the Wicked Witch of the East. And that's because we really don't know much about her. She gets topped by Dorothy's house and then she disappears. Next up, we have the tribe Otter. Otters are kind of similar to bears, except they're usually leaner than bears. They tend to dress a little bit more casually and outdoorsy from what I've seen. All right, the otter character in The Wizard of Oz has to be Toto. Are you hurt? This Smaller than a bear, but hairy, fearless, and loving. On to the next one. Another tribe is clean cut. Clean cut gays prefer to be clean shaven, not a hair out of place. They usually dress very nicely and they usually have their shit together. At least they seem to. I can't relate to this one bit. The Wizard of Oz character that I would associate with a clean cut gay is Emerald City itself. Is it a character? Not necessarily, but it is spotless, it is perfect or seemingly perfect. It's beautiful, it's clean, not a single thing out of place. Are you guys having fun yet or do you absolutely hate me? because I can't decide myself. <laughs> the next tribe is geek, generally the opposite of a jock, and we'll get into jocks later. Gamers fall into this group, and that is G-A-Y-M-E-R-S, gamers. Sharp and witty, most likely smarter than you, so you don't wanna mess with them. Knows every single character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that's a flex, by the way. The Wizard of Oz character that I associate with the Geek Tribe is Professor Marvel, the fortune teller. Of a running horse. Super snappy, playing with his crystal ball in the middle of nowhere, as opposed to going to the gym and taking mirror selfies. <sighs> Let's keep going. All right, so additionally, we have the wolf tribe. Mature men, usually lean and muscular, generally hairy on their arms, legs, and chest. Known for being confident and assertive, but I know it varies, obviously. The Wizard of Oz character that I associate with the wolf tribe is, drumroll, the Wicked Witch of the West. But attractive to the eye and soothing the smell. <laughs> the definition of confidence and assertiveness. Doesn't really like water being poured on her. I assume wolves don't like that either. I don't know. Wolves, please comment below and let me know if you like water being poured on you. I just made that up. Also, this one isn't based on looks. I have yet to meet a green wolf. Yet. Our next tribe is the Chub Tribe. Chub Tribe. Trub. Chib. Chub Tribe. Wow. Thicker guys, usually laid back and easygoing. Super fun to be around, at least the ones that I have met. 
From what I understand, chubs differ from bears when it comes to age and body hair because I understand chubs are usually younger and are generally clean shaven and less body hair from what I understand. The Wizard of Oz character that I associate with the chub tribe is Glinda's bubble. Just follow the yellow brick road. Round, shiny, joyous. I don't know. Glinda's bubble is so pretty. Odds are that you probably have heard of the next tribe, the Twink tribe. Think Troy Savant. Slim men without body hair. Often younger and generally pretty thin. I hate to do this, but the Wizard of Oz character that I am going to reference here is Dorothy. That's funny. Because she's young, she's desirable, she's slim. I really don't like calling Judy Garland a twink. I really hope that she is not wincing in heaven right now. I'm so sorry, Judy, but I'm just going to go to the next one. All right, next we have the Jock Tribe. Jocks are extremely fit, usually very into physical health. From my experience meeting jocks, they're usually former athletes. Six-pack, biceps, sporty. And the Wizard of Oz character or characters that I associate the Jock Tribe with are the Lollipop Guild. Only because you usually won't find jocks in groups less than three. They're always with other jocks, it seems like. And they usually love a deep voice. Okay, that was kind of mean, but I, I love all the jocks out there, I promise. Again, this is just for fun. I love every single tribe. I am not trying to knock on any tribe here. <laughs> This one actually isn't very nice, but the next one I have is the gym bunny. Similar to a jock, but a gym bunny wants to maintain the most perfect body possible. No body fat, usually a lot of mirror selfies. Usually pretty damn hot. Give them creatine for Christmas. The Wizard of Oz character that I associate with the gym bunny tribe is the Wizard of Oz himself. The Great Oz has spoken. Oh. An absolute star in the land of Oz, but nobody can really get to him. Think Instagram influencer. However, at the end of the day, they have a good heart and they mean well. That kind of seems like an attack on gym bunnies, but I promise you, I love gym bunnies and you're all incredibly sexy and I wish I could have your bodies. Thank you. Next tribe is Twunk tribe. Twunk is a combination of twink and hunk. A twunk has youthful features of a twink, but also a muscled body of a hunk. Okay, the character from Wizard of Oz that I associate with a twunk is Flying Monkey. Okay, hear me out. It's a combination of two things. Are they monkeys? Are they birds? Are they twinks? Are they hunks? No offense to twunks at all. I love all of you twunks. All right, second to last tribe I'm going to talk about today is the rugged tribe. Opposite of clean cut. Usually an outdoor type, probably growing a beard, doesn't care too much about personal appearance. We've all had a lumberjack fantasy, and if you say you haven't, then you are lying. The Wizard of Oz character that I associate with the rugged tribe is the Scarecrow. Oh, that's very kind of you. Very kind. For no other reason than the fact that he lives in a cornfield. He can't even scare a crow, and he's a big nature guy. Like with the lion and the tin man, this has nothing to do with rugged men not having a brain. Just to clarify. Last but not least on my list of gay tribes is daddy. Older, sophisticated, sometimes a silver fox man. Cultured, experienced, sexy, professional. The Wizard of Oz character that I personally associate with the daddy tribe is Glinda. I'm Glinda, the witch of the north. She's experienced, she's pretty, she is seasoned. She's been in the scene long enough that 
she knows everyone. I understand that there are so many more tribes out there that I didn't mention today and they are all valid. I just chose the ones that I am most familiar with. Now, which tribe do I associate with? So honestly, I usually associate myself with the otter tribe. Definitely have a little bit of body hair. <laughs> Trying my best to grow a beard. I am a wannabe rugged. I don't think I can grow enough of a beard. And as much of a nature guy as I want to be, I also like sitting inside and watching movies. But then again, it's all stereotypes. You can associate with whatever tribe you want to associate with. I don't care. It is currently pouring outside and with all of this rain, I am going to sit on my couch and watch RuPaul's Drag Race because there is no place like home. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun to put together. I hope I didn't offend anybody today. Everybody, please be safe out there. Please be grateful for your soul, your body. Please remember to love yourself today and do something that you enjoy today as well. Until next time, peace out.